it's Ruby from DottieDelightful.com Welcome to this week's studio vlog So I am sat here with my green smoothie It looks like gunk but actually it tastes bloody lovely um, It's got bananas, kale, papaya, mango, um, cocoa, oats, milk, oat milk in it as well um, And then turmeric and magnesium and what else did I put in there? Oh, and some peanut butter. So, cheers. So this week I'm gonna do little snippets each day of what it's like to run your own Etsy shop and also be a full-time creative artist, illustrator, all that kind of jazz. And I'm not normally this organized, but this morning I decided that I would make a little chart for myself with the days of the week on it and kind of roughly what I need to do each day. I don't want to make it too uh, specific because I know I'm really rubbish at sticking to things like that. Um, so basically Monday morning, which is today, is um, getting orders that have come in over the weekend all packaged and ready for the post office. Um, getting some more Etsy listings on there, taking photographs if the light's good enough of things for my listings. And what else have I got to do? Um, any kind of shop stuff updates. So pop onto Etsy, see if there's any things I need to update, any prices that I need to change because postage keeps changing, stuff like that. Um, and also today I like to batch cook some food for the next few days because that means that when I'm busy and really getting into my work, I won't make really poor choices and get takeaway. So uh, that's today so um, I'm gonna have my smoothie now do my bit of social media once I've done that I'm gonna start sewing some more zines and um, the January zines have been really really good really popular which is amazing and get them all packaged up so let's get on with it of all different things which will make up bundles which go on my Etsy um, but now I need to take photographs of them and I use my iPhone for that just because it's easier because my video editing app is on my iPhone um, so if the stuff's already on there it just saves a lot of time so I'm going to take some pictures now and then because the light's quite good outside but I also have this lamp as well to help brighten it up a bit because we only have small windows in this house and there's not no real big windows either and especially with it being winter it's quite dark so um, yeah a, a little addition of a lamp is really handy and helpful so I'll take some pictures of these and then I will get back to packaging up orders and um, I'm doing the, the photographs first while the lights okay outside um, you've got to kind of juggle it all so even though you've got like a set thing when you get up in the morning you think oh, I'll do this 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 and this 
you've got to kind of juggle it depending on what happens as well so that's what I'll get on with so here I am chopping up all the tissue paper and the envelopes ready for packaging up the zines. I do this all in one go. If I've got quite a few orders, it makes it a lot easier. And then folding all the zines up and getting them ready to sew on them on the sewing machine. I use my old vintage Singer sewing machine. It works really well. slow down the time lapse and let you listen to the sewing machine so it might be just because I'm a bit geeky about uh, vintage things but when I'm sewing on the machine it, because it's a hand crank and it's like from the 1920s it makes such a lovely noise so uh, I just thought I'd let you listen to the noise so rhythmic and like can you hear that little bell bit on the handle as well? I just love it so sewing these zines on my vintage sewing machine just I don't know it just brings a little bit of extra magic to it because you could staple them together or was tied them with a ribbon or something but um, I got this years ago and what's really lovely is I was researching and uh, I'll just bring the camera around and let you see so if you can oops sorry for the wobble if you can see it's got just such lovely patterns all on it and when I was researching about the machines um, it was saying that all different singers Whoops, I'm on a <laughs> cut. <laughs> Not really cut. Um, <laughs> if all different singers have. Oh, hello, Dougie. This is Stanley. Uh, all different singers, depending on when they were made, they had different artists design the patterns on them depending on what was happening in the world at the time. So when they discovered the uh, tombs in Egypt, the artist got all inspired by that and there's a sewing machine that you can get and it's got all um, like hieroglyphics and uh, birds and things like Egyptian birds on it. So it's just wonderful, isn't it? And just to think that this was made like nearly, yeah, well actually, yeah, over a hundred years ago. That, um, and it's still working perfectly and it, and you don't have to really do much with it and it's just incredible so I love old things and my zines just feel like they've got an extra touch of magic because I use this beauty to sew them hi so this week didn't quite go to plan because I was meant to do a studio vlog every day this week to upload at the end of the week and I thought I was going to be all on it and everything but then I came on my moon time so um, when I'm on my moon time, I like to have at least two days where I do nothing. I get on the sofa with a hot water bottle and the duvet and the dogs and I watch series and uh, uh, films and all sorts of things that I save up. Um, I really like to save it up in the month and then when it's my moon time, I can really, really fully relax and I really enjoy that. So um, it's now Thursday. Um, and this morning I've wrapped zine parcels and I um, also painted a lady's mum's card. So it was a, this lady got in touch and said it was a mum's birthday and could I make her a card? And I decided to paint a card and it was really lovely and I can't show it you because it's gone to the post office. But, um, and also it's a secret, but it's really lovely. And then I've also been making this today, so I've just finished painting this. Um, and it's for February and it's for my zines that are coming up in February. And this is going to go into the seasonal pack. So it's a, this is a wards colour, but I'll be doing prints of this. And I'm really pleased with it. And I don't know if you can see in this light, but it's got all gold. Um, I've got this. Uh, set of metallic watercolours and um, 
at first I didn't like them they were they were a bit I thought they were a bit rubbish but then I realized that the, when you actually get into the paints with your paintbrush a bit it works a lot better so yeah so I've got them and oh the other thing that I've done as well if I can reach excuse my arm I've got all my freckles on my arm um so for all you people that had watched my video last time and I got really excited about Zine Club and I said I was going to make membership cards da, da, da. Zine Club membership cards so uh, when you sign up to Zine Club on my Patreon page you will get one of these beauties and this bit is for writing your name and I've got a lovely pen where's my lovely pen gone? oh, I've got a lovely gold pen so I'm going to be writing the names in there um, and that's what you'll get and then when all of this lot's finished and we can meet up and have workshops and things you'll bring your zine club membership card to get in so that's fun isn't it um and yes yeah, so that's what i've been doing and i've not even bothered to get dressed today i'm in my unicorn nighty and i've got another nighty on over the top actually because it's quite cold today my unicorn nighty is really cute but it stops like at the thighs and it's a bit cold on your legs so i've put my other nighty on over the top and this is my kimono Oh. Um, so yeah, so that's for Thursday and then I'm going to finish off doing my things for the zine for today I'm not going to do loads more because I've not had my dinner yet and I'm a bit tired now And I'm just going to go, I think, and read a little while So I shall see you tomorrow, which will be Friday Hey, so it's Friday today which means it's art day and every Friday I take the day off, well off, you know what I mean, uh, and have an art date day. So I did plan on going out and that's the dog scratching. I did plan on going out and does anybody like a dog? Stop it, scratching. <coughs> Start again. I did plan on going out and getting the bus to the beach today and having a bit of a walk around. Um, but actually I came up with a different idea. Okay, it's finished. <laughs> but I had a different idea. So um, I am gonna do some stop promotion. So, now he's shaking his head. Oh my god. Anyway. So, the zine is now ready for February. So what I do is I make the actual templates for them on the card. So they can be kept and re-scanned as many times as I want and printed as many times as I want. So February zine is now ready and it's really, really good. I'm really excited. So I've got loads of these cards that I've made and they just need to be all scanned in and tweaked for colour and stuff like that before they get printed. Um, and I thought it'd be really, really cute to do a stop motion about my theme being launched for February. So you can see there's loads of different pages. Um, they're not in order at the minute. They'll be put in order when they get scanned into the computer. Um, but I'm really loving it and all your feedback for January zines were amazing like totally amazing so um, yeah so that's all ready so I am going to do some stop motion today to make a little video to launch February's edition the other thing I'm doing today is I'm making myself a playlist now I love playlists I don't know if you love playlists but I do and um, I'm going to make a studio sounds playlist because I don't know about you, but I tend to listen to the same music over and over and over again. Well, in 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 her studio magazine, um, when they do a feature on an artist, sometimes they do like a top ten of studio songs, or they'll do like what music you're listening to. So I've been going through all my magazines and going through people's different songs and seeing which ones I like and stuff, and then adding them to a studio sounds playlist just to freshen things up so that'll be really nice as well so yeah that's the other thing that I'm doing today and that's about it so I will get on with stop motion I'll let you have a little sneak peek of me doing that and 
um, then I will put all of the videos together from this week and make a studio vlog. So I hope it's not been too sporadic. Um, forgive the dog scratching the carpet. I don't know why he thinks it does anything because it, it doesn't, but anyway. And uh, next week I will be doing a different kind of video when I'm out and about and getting inspired by all the lovely things that are going on at the minute in nature. So look out for that next week. Okay, see you in a bit. So here I am making my stop motion video. You've got to move each little piece tiny bit at a time and then take a photo and move another tiny bit and take a photo and repeat that. I use an app called Stop Motion which is really good, it's really helpful and um, that's what I'm doing in this clip and here's the stop motion video.